Hey guys, welcome back for another Razer Chroma Profile tutorial video. For this video, it's going to be a Halloween profile themed design. And I just want to give you a heads up that this profile is going to be an all white design because this is going to be a ghost theme design. And I'm also releasing another Halloween profile theme design that's going to come out next week. But that design I'm going to put in the profile of the month competition. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer for that one. If you want to see what that design looks like, you can hop over to my Twitter page or my Instagram and see exactly what that looks like. Oh, and I also want to mention that I am doing a giveaway this month on my Twitter page. I'm going to be giving away a Razer Mamba Elite gaming mouse for you guys. You guys have given so much to me and helped me grow so much so this is my way of giving back to you guys so hop over to my twitter page and see how you can enter that drawing so without further ado we're going to hop right into this how-to video i'm going to show you guys exactly how to make this design this is casper the chroma ghost let's go Okay guys, we're starting here with a blank slate and right off the bat, I'm just gonna click these three dots over here on the left side and I'm gonna change this to a static layer. And with this being a static layer, I'm going to double click on any key here and just hit the delete key and erase the effect on all of our keys. And now I'm just gonna hold control and I'm gonna scroll wheel in on my keyboard. So with our static layer selected, we're going to start selecting out keys to make the shape of our ghost head. All right, guys, these are the keys that I'm going to use for the outline of my ghost design. So with these keys selected, I'm going to click in this hex code box and I'm going to use six F's as a hex code. That's all we're going to do with the static layer. Next, we're going to add a wave layer. So we're going to click on that wave layer. And with this new wave layer, we're going to hold control and we're just going to select the inside keys here inside our uh, outline we're going to click on this color drop down and i'm going to click on this three node pattern here we're going to select the center node here and we're going to use six f's as a hex code for that and now that we've changed this to white we're actually going to choose a really dark shade of this white so just click up here we're going to use two four two four two four for this color so now with this new hex code we created we're going to copy that and we're gonna paste that in the first node. So you got 0A, 0A, 0A. We're gonna copy that hex code and we're gonna paste that into our last node right here. Now that that's done, we're gonna click off of that and we're gonna just split this wave. And now if we just click off here in the gray area, you can see we kind of have a ghost shape looking design on our keyboard, which is exactly what we want. Next, we're going to add the blinking effect and we're going to do that with the same wave layer. So with this wave layer selected, we're gonna hold control and we're just gonna select the keys that represent the ghost eye. Angle down at a 180 degree angle and we're gonna leave our speed at 15 here. We're gonna click on our color drop down, and we're going to choose a three node pattern once again. Actually, let's choose the five node pattern and we're gonna delete the first node and the last node. So now we have, we're working with the uh, middle portion here of our color gradient bar. So now with our new first and last nodes, we're gonna make those invisible. And we're gonna keep this at a dark color, but we're gonna change it to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 001. Okay, and we're just gonna hit this addition symbol to copy that. And we're gonna drag these nodes tight to the invisible nodes, just like this, okay? So that's perfect. Now we're gonna hold control and we're gonna deselect this top row here. So now we only have the C, V, N, and M keys selected. We're gonna click on our color drop down, and we're just gonna drag these nodes in a little bit just like this on each side. We're just gonna make that gradient a little bit smaller. So now that that's done, we'll click off of that. And now you can see that our guy is blinking, okay? But he's blinking a little bit too much and a little bit too slow. So the way we're gonna change that is we're going to double click on our K key here, and that's gonna bring up our properties for this um, effect. We're going to change our width to 50% and we're gonna add a pause to this as well. And I'm gonna go up to seven seconds. And now we're gonna do the same thing with this row. Double click on the M key and we're going to make this 50% and we're gonna make the pause go up to seven seconds, just like the other layer. And we're gonna hit save. So now you'll see there'll be a longer pause between the blinks and the blink will be faster. 
It's still a little bit slow, so I think I'm gonna drop it down to 30%. So I'm gonna double click my K key and I'm gonna make that 30% width. Double click on my M key and I'm gonna make that 30% width as well. And I'll hit save. So now he's got a much more natural looking blink. All right guys, so next for this design, we are going to uh, just select all the keys that are on the right side of our ghost. Uh, deselect the keys that you selected on the ghost here. So now guys, I've selected all of the keys on the right side of my keyboard that it does not represent my ghost layer. And I'm going to click on my drop down, and I'm going to uh, click this three node pattern here. And I'm just gonna drag the center node over to the left a little bit, and we're gonna make this a white node. So six Fs is a hex code, and we're gonna drop it down really dark. So zero A, zero A, zero A. Um, this first node here, we're gonna make invisible, drag that over tight. It doesn't have to be too tight. We can, we can leave a little space here. This right node, we're also going to make invisible, and we're gonna drag that in a little bit. Uh, this black node that we made here, we're gonna hit the addition symbol just to make a copy of that. Um, and that looks good right there. I'm gonna angle this up at about 44 degrees. And I'm gonna reduce my speed here down to about four. I'm gonna click off of that. So now you can't really see um, this light effect that goes up at an angle, but it will be visible on your keyboard. So we're gonna hit save for right now. Uh, I'm gonna copy what I did on the right side of my keyboard. So just select any of these keys and control C to copy that. And now I'm gonna select the left half of my keyboard here and uh, make sure I deselect the keys that I used for my ghost. Got those deselected and now I'm gonna paste in what I did on the right side on this left side but I'm gonna change my angle over to um, about 316 degrees and we're gonna hit save. All right guys, the next layer that we're going to create for this design is going to be a reactive layer. So make sure you click on that reactive to add that. With this reactive layer selected, I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna select all of my keys on my keyboard click on my color drop down, and I'm gonna use six Fs as a hex code, just like that. So we're gonna hit save there. This design is pretty much done except for our audio meter layer. And you can see when I press a key, you got a white reactive that's going on on the keyboard. Last layer that I'm gonna add for the keyboard is going to be an audio meter layer. So I'm gonna click on my audio meter layer, and I'm actually gonna drag this underneath my reactive layer because I want my reactive layer to be on top. But with the audio meter layer selected, we're gonna hold control, and we're just gonna select out the shape of our ghost once again. And I'm just gonna do the outside of it right here. And I'm gonna click on my color drop down, and I'm just gonna choose this two node pattern over here, the black and green one. And on the left side, I'm going to just drag this a little bit lighter. So the hex code on the left node is 080808. And on the right node, I'm gonna make this 6F. So this is going to be bright white. So you have a really, really dark white that leads up to a really, really bright white at loud audio levels. For the properties on the audio meter layer, we are going to not choose auto. I'm just gonna drag this over to 1.5. That's kind of my sweet spot that I like. And I don't don't want this to like bounce around and be too crazy so I'm actually going to increase the DK all the way up to two that way it's not a bunch of flashing on my keyboard it's all a little bit more subtle and that is all I did for the keyboard portion of this design I'm not gonna get into the peripherals on this video but I will have the peripheral lighting on the download link so if you guys have the same peripherals that I do then you will have some lighting on yours Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and bell icon so you don't miss out on future Razer keyboard lighting designs. And that's gonna do it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.